Welcome to another edition of the Hoop Scoop. I'm Jerry Johnson, and hey, man, Red Raiders, they're never done recruiting, man. They're never re done recruiting on the hardwood. I have a saying on InsideTheRedRaiders.com that I, I really like to share with people when they're confused with some of the scholarship numbers is, look, Chris Beard is going to be aggressive with the roster. And, I mean, boy, is he ever. Um, Coach Beard said, the, one of the first things he said when he was hired at Texas Tech was that recruiting was going to be, is the lifeblood of his program, and that a lot of his and the staff's efforts are going to be attributed or, or, or used toward that end of acquiring as much talent uh, as they can and winning as fast as possible. And we've seen that play out. I mean, they were within, within seconds of winning a national title. And every year we see this roster churn, which I think catches some people, um, I think more traditional fans, uh, by alarm. But, I mean, I think that's to be expected now. This is this is the new norm of Texas State basketball as long as Chris Beard is here. The latest uh, example of that is Vlad Golden, seven-foot center out of Putnam Science Academy. It's the fourth consecutive Recruiting cycle that Texas Tech has signed a big, uh, you know, a power forward or center out of Putnam. It's the you know, and, and their prep program, which is among, if not the very best in the country, uh, their prep ball there up in Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh, so it's interesting that the previous three bigs, uh, Malik Andigo, Josh Mbala, and Russell Chua, to Chua or Chewy as I like to call him, all three came in from Putnam and all three have since transferred. So the latest is Vlad. Um, I mentioned the aggressiveness with the roster. Right now, I mean, it looks like they have 14 or 15, depending on how you want to look at it, scholarship players. So obviously the limit is 13 in terms of it was last year. It was the, the, the roster that was 13 scholarships. So, you know, at least there's going to have to be some – some changes, some tweaks to the roster before the season starts. Now, uh, everybody wants to know who. And honestly, I, at this point, I don't know exactly who's gone. But I will tell you, with, with Vlad Golden, what, what they're getting is a seven foot one center um, from Russia. He's played in the top club program uh, in Russia, in, in Moscow, uh, which is was known as the Red Army because their association with <laughs> the Army uh, historically. But, uh, you know, he's known as the athletic guy. Um, he can get up and down the court, block shots, you know, the rim classic rim protector and dunk on your head, seven-footer. He is athletic uh, for being a seven-footer. I mean, he can run. He can get up the, the court. He can move. I think he can even guard some on the perimeter where he won't just completely be exposed uh, immediately when, when Texas Tech switches on defense, which we know they like to do. So I like Golden. I don't know how much of an impact he's going to make in his first season, but like he's a four-star guy. It was obvious. It's been rumored. Um, I've been saying, I mean, I said my hot takes on the board. I've been saying for months, yeah, Golden's going to be a part of the program. It's just a matter of when they want to announce it officially. Well, they did announce it officially this week. He's a part of the program, and there is some tweaking to the roster that's going to need to be done between now and when they, well, I guess, in the school year. So all in all, I like the addition of Golden. Um, you know, they they needed some more uh, they needed some more depth on the interior. I think that was a problem last year, and that's something that Coach Beard has addressed uh, between him, Marcus Santos Silva, uh, Zay Nwai. I mean, you go down the list. There's they've added some some height, some length inside, and, and I like it. I, I like what they're doing. I think they're going to be better on the boards. I think they're going to be better defensively uh, at the rim. Uh, in terms of, of protecting the rim. So we'll have to see if that, that plays out. But that's that's how I see it. And I think it's it was a good pickup for the Red Raiders. But with that, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time.